Welcome back, Real Talk family. So, from the title of this video, you already know what this video is going to be about. But before we get started, I would like to say thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel and you like my content, make sure you subscribe. And when you do subscribe, hit the notification bell and click all so that you are alerted of all the videos that I upload. Okay, you guys, so let's just get into it. This is a different kind of video today. Today, I am going to be going over the GED, some of the things that is on the GED test. And I am going to split this video into two videos because it is a lot of math information to intake. So I didn't want the video to be too long. Okay, so we're going to start off with the addition and subtraction in algebra. And on that first question, you see it says 2x plus 3x and that equals your 5x because you add the like terms and with the like terms you get the 5x i am going to take a snapshot of this picture of this so that you guys can actually see it okay so also we are on multiplication and division algebra you can only add and subtract terms with the same letters and exponents which means that if you have different like if the if the letters are different, if the terms are different, then you cannot like apply like the addition or the subtraction or the multiplication or the division. You cannot put that together because of the fact that they do not have these same terms. For example, 6AB times 2AC is equal to 12A squared and then B and then C. See, you had to add the like terms, which is those A's. You see those two A's, so that becomes A squared right there. And then a B is by itself, and it's only one B. So you put that there, and then a C is only one C. Okay, so exponents is something else that is on the GED test. And on the exponent, the little number at the top, at the top right, that is always the exponent. And the bigger number is your base number that is your base number so whenever you get negative like say if you get a negative five negative two and your exponent is negative you cannot solve that you cannot solve that so you have to do something called drop down and on the next page i will go into that about that one and then also we have polynomials look at that the polynomials, that is something big that they actually had. When I failed it each time, that question, those types of questions was definitely on it. So you have 2x squared minus 9x minus 5. So you are going to apply. So pretty much you're going to take one and drag it to the other, and then you take the other one and drag it to the other. So, for example, you have the 2x plus 1, and you see that in parentheses, then you have the x minus 5. So, what you do is you're going to drag that 1 to the x, and that's how you get 1x when you bring it over. When you bring it over like that, you're going to apply this to that, apply that to that. It's like a swing. It goes from here to here. So, right here, you have the... You're going to have the 2 times negative 5. 2 times a negative number, because the signs is different, it's going to be that negative 10x. And that's how you get that 10x. All righty. Okay, let's get into rules for operations and exponents. Okay, so rules for exponents. So for when you get to when it. When you have a multiplication, see if you see that. When you have a multiplication problem, you're going to add the exponents. So you see how they have three. See how they have three to the third exponent times three to the fifth exponent. So what you're going to do, you're going to add it. So that's how you get three to the eighth. For division, you're going to subtract the exponents. Three fifths. 3 to the 5th divided by 3 to the 3rd is going to get you 3 to the 2nd because you subtracted those exponents. 
Then you have raising, raising a power to a power, multiply the exponents. So when it comes to the exponents, you're gonna multiply. So three, three to the third times five. Three times five is 15. So you're gonna get three to the 15 power and your signs have to, your uh, terms have to be the same. Negative exponent. Remember when I was telling you guys, when we get to the next page, I was going to show you guys when we're dealing with the negative exponent. Equivalent to a fraction with a positive equivalent in the exponent in the denominator. So, for example, you see how we have 10 to the negative 4? We cannot solve that. That's something we cannot solve. So, for that, you're going to drop it down. So, you're going to get the 1. You got to put the 1 on top. 10 to the fourth because you cannot solve that problem with that negative exponent. You cannot have negative exponents. Okay, so fractions is another one that they like to do a lot. And they always like to say simplify and reduce. That is something that they say a lot. So eight over 64, eight goes into eight one time, eight goes into 64 eight times. So you get one over eight. So also we have the scientific notation. And I'm gonna take a picture of that because that those are pretty big numbers, and you can and you can see how to solve that. When you have a bunch of numbers, you have to count the digits. So that's dealing with place value as well. And so you count the numbers and you get that 10 to the 15th. And right here is just another problem the same. When you get a negative one, which is zero, zero can you cannot do nothing with zero. So that's how you got you got the negative the 10 to the negative one. And then on the percentages, you know how whenever you go into the store and things are 50% off or that 40% off, we deal with those things all the time. So that's pretty much what this is, 62% of 150. You'll take 150 and you'll multiply that by 0.62 because you had to move the decimal over to get your percent. So that's how you got the 62%. You get the 0.62 to do that all right you guys i will be doing a part two to this video i will also take pictures of these so you can actually see them and you can see how i got the answers if you have any particular questions pertaining to the math just let me know put it in the comment section below this video was requested so if you have something that you pretty much want to focus on let me know and write that in the comment section. I will be back with a part two to this. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really do appreciate it. So until next time, see you guys later. Peace.